Echo Flow, River Pro 2. Let's have a look. <laughs> Welcome back. And for those of you that are new here to the channel, thanks for joining me on this one. So today I thought I'll make a quick video, give you a little rundown of my EcoFlow River Pro 2 um, portable power station that I've been using. Now I purchased this initially outright out of my own pocket. I wasn't sent this by EcoFlow. Um, I purchased this and at the time of purchase I paid £749. Now, I've just recently looked on their website and the unit is still £749. If you wanted to add any additions onto it, i.e. solar panels, obviously there is a package, so go over, um, I'll leave a link to EcoFlow website, go over and have a look um, and yeah, see, see um, what packages they've got available. They do also do just the River 2, uh, which is a lower wattage output unit, um, which is obviously price uh, is, is lower. Reason that I purchased the um, River 2 Pro is just due to the extra wattage output that you get um, built in the unit. Um, I could have purchased a smaller one, but I knew that the smaller one would only run like charge uh, phones and laptops and sort of stuff. So I wanted that additional power so that when I'm away in the van uh, or out and about, I could take this along with me and use it to power appliances, um, cooking, stuff like that. So, as I said, yeah, price is, is currently £749 over on their website. Um, I'll give you a little bit of a rundown of the unit itself. So, the unit, it has a 768 watt hour capacity. Um, as I said, it's 800 watt, but with EcoFlow's X-Boost, that pu pushes the power output to 1600 watts. You can get up to, depending obviously on the weather conditions, you can get up to uh, 1.8 kilowatt hours a day uh, with solar charging. Um, and this unit to charge it with the AC from zero to 100% takes, uh, takes 70 minutes um, according to their website. I haven't actually timed it to know if it is 70 minutes, but they do say, uh, that it is a fast charge and can charge from zero to 100% in 70 minutes. Um, EcoFlow have their um, Life PO4 um, battery chemistry in this. Now they claim that this can charge, uh, you can charge this unit um, over 3,000 times before the battery um, capacity is affected, um, which 3,000 times if you charged it up I think on a daily basis it works out to about 10 years uh, of charge before the battery performance is, is um, effective. Now so you've got four ways of charging this unit. Now the four ways of charging it is you can charge it at the back if you have a look here you've got your AC plug um, for plugging it into the mains and charge it from the mains. You can plug your solar panels in here and charge it via solar and this also um, can be plugged in to the 12 volt um, cigarette light cigarette adapter well 12 volt adapter that comes with it uh, that you can plug in here and you can charge your unit while you're driving uh, via 12 volt so if you're going on a decent journey and you need to top it up a little bit plug it in while you're driving and it will charge it up so going back to the front so um, you've also got the additional uh, ways of charging is you can charge it via USB-C. I personally haven't tested that, so I wouldn't, be able, I wouldn't be able to confirm whether you can or can't, but according to EcoFlow, you can charge it via USB-C. And then you've also got a DC input as well that you can charge it um, via um, DC as well. Now, this is the first um, portable power station to be TUV Rhineland certified. And you also get a five year warranty uh, with the unit as well. So there is an app um, and what I'll do is in a minute, I'll jump over onto the app and I'll show you the functionality of the app. But what all that you need to do is when you purchase the unit, pop onto the app, it asks you for proof of purchase, upload it onto the app and then that then gives you your confirmation for your um, five year warranty. The unit itself weighs 7.8 kilos. So 
it's not heavy and it's not the lightest, but you can pick it up with one hand uh, and just carry it around. The only um, one thing that I've, I know that other units, I think the Blue Etty Blue unit does it, is they, I know there's a lot to compact into the unit, but it would have been nicer because if you was charging your phone, wireless charger on top would be would have been ideal then that saves you using up a um another uh, usb um but yeah moving on to the front of the unit so what have you got on the front of the unit here you've got your three ac outputs and at the side here you've got a little switch to turn your ac on and off um, on the app itself you can set uh, a timer for how long the ac uh, will auto shut off i think uh, well, I think mine auto is set to six hours. Um, so after six hours of running, the AC would turn itself off. So you've got your three um, USB, uh, three AC um, plugs here on the front um, with the 800 watt. You've got your three normal USB um, plugs and you've also got a 100 watt USB type C plug. Over on the left hand side, you've got your 12 volt plug so you can plug your 12 volt into there so if you've got a let's say um a 12 volt call box uh with with the 12 volt on it pop it in there uh, it will charge it up i think i had a call uh, yeah you'd have to have a look at your out uh, output um wattage on your um call box to see how long it would run for and then you've got your dc um it dc uh, ports there and also at the bottom here You've got a little switch, yet again the same as the AC, to turn the DC on and off. Now both of those two functions, the AC and the DC on and off, are controllable by the app. So if you were, let's say, got this unit and you were lying in bed, you've got lights running on it or whatever you've got running off it, you can turn the, the um, controls off uh, without leaving the bed just by the app. You can turn the DC and the AC off. Um, so you've got your little power on and off button here. So if we pop it on. Um, as you can see there, then you've got your LCD uh, display. So what do you get on the LCDs, LCDs display? You get your runtime. So depending on um, what, what um, appliance you've got plugged into the unit, this will give you a timer of how, lo how long um, the battery will last for uh, based on that appliance that you're running. You've got your battery percentage, um, which will tell you obviously how long, how much percentage you've got left in the battery. And then you also have your input wattage. So if you're charging it, it will tell you how much, or uh, charging it even by AC or via the solar, it will tell you how much uh, wattage is going into the unit. And then you've also got your output wattage, uh, which tells you, depending on what you've got plugged into the, the um, power station, that will then tell you uh, what the wattage is that that unit is using. Now, I recently did a test on this that I just wanted to test to see if it would. Um, I've got, um, which is what I use for a lot of my video editing, um, I use a, a 27 inch Apple Mac, um, the full size desktop um, uh, computer. So I thought to myself, I wonder if the Apple Mac would run off this. So I plugged it in, turned the Apple Mac on, Apple Mac came on. Um, and this was running, it was about 120, take it using about 125 to 130 watts of power uh, to run the Apple Mac. So just room for thought. Obviously you've got your, if you're running your standard normal laptops and stuff like that, you can plug them in. Um, but I wanted, as I said, I got the 800 watt one due to the X-Boost pushes it to 1600 watt, although it won't last that long on 1600 watts and it reduces, I believe the voltage. Um, it just means that I can run larger appliances um, off of this. So yeah, as I said, this will be staying in the van with me. Um, I'll probably keep it as like a, a backup supply um, as well, that if anything was to happen that my batteries in my, and my leisure batteries in my van were to run flat or there's no power coming in, I've got a form uh, or a way of at least powering some stuff if I needed to. So what we'll do is, I'll jump over onto the app now um, and give you a quick rundown of the app and the features on the app. Um, so yeah, let's jump over onto the app. So this is the app um, when you first come into the uh, EcoFlow app. You'll be presented with your unit that you've currently got available um, 
if you have more than one unit, obviously they'll be listed um, in, in this um, first screen. Um, but for this purpose, obviously I've got the EcoFlow River 2 Pro, which is a top one, and it will also show you the battery percentage of the unit. So all that you need to do is click into the um, actual unit itself. And when you click into the unit, as you can see here, um, you're presented with the general overlay of the inputs and outputs and your AC and uh, DC. So as you can see at the bottom of the app, you've got your AC um, switch on and off and your 12 volt DC switch on and off. And you can just toggle it on and off uh, depending if you've got anything plugged into the unit. So you've also got across the top, you've got your input wattage and your output wattage. Um, and as you look at the, the main sort of center screen on the left hand side, you've got um, your AC input, which obviously is showing zero watts because there's nothing plugged in. Uh, vice versa, the same on the right hand side, which is your 12 uh, volt uh, input. So whether that be your solar panels or your uh, 12 volt charger from your vehicle. Um, in the center of the screen, you'll see that you've got your percentage of, um, well, the battery percentage that's left. Um, obviously, yes, there's nothing plugged into it at the moment. That is showing us 99 hours, 59 minutes. Um, if, however, you did have something plugged in, um, below that, you will see then what the wattage is that that um, application is drawing. So whether that be AC or DC, it'll tell you the wattage, and that will then alter the time remaining left on the battery percentage. So as I also said, you can change some of the general settings. So if you click into the little sort of cogwheel in the top right hand corner, uh, that then brings you in. It will give you your um, device names, which you can rename it to whatever you wanted to. You've got your AC charging speed, um, which you can change the amount of input what incoming wattage um, for the unit charging. Uh, as you can see, it set maximum 940 watts coming in. Um, you've got your um, car input, so that will be how many amps um, it will be char charging from the, the car. Um, and then you've also got your DC mode, which is auto. Uh, you can see that the output, you've got the X boost, which I've got on. And you've also got the charge discharge limit, um, which you can set. Um, as I said, you can also see on the auto timeout, uh, you've got the actual unit timeout, which I've currently got set to 30 minutes, the LCD screen timeout, which I've got set to five minutes, and the AC timeout, which as I said, is set to six hours, but can be adjusted uh, to however you wanted it to, if you didn't want it to turn off. Um, so yeah, so that's a, a brief um, overview of the app, and um, yeah, we'll jump back over uh, to the video now. So there you go. As I said, it was just a quick video. I pointed it out in my um, last video that I made that I've been using this. I don't use it to um, for power tools and stuff at the moment in the van. It's mainly just for like lighting. I've got a, a, a speaker which you can probably see above me just for charging that up so I can listen to the radio while I'm doing bits and bobs and just for any sort of general little appliances that I want to plug in. Um, but at the minute, its main function is it's powering the LED lights that I've got um, hung up around the van, which when I plug them in, they take up 45 watts of power. Um, so yeah, as I said, just a quick one. Um, so if anyone's got any questions or wants me wants to ask anything additional about the unit, drop me um, a comment below uh, and I'll come back to you with any questions or if you want any more technical specifications, drop in the comments below and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you with, with any information that you're looking for. So as always, always remember guys, to massively help the channel out, give this video a like. Also, if you hit the little subscribe button, it doesn't cost you anything, um, you'll get um, keep up to date with the channel. And then if you do hit the little bell button as well, that will also send you a notification every time I do upload a new video. So hopefully on with the van build and the next video that I come back with should be hopefully fitting the roof fan. Thanks for joining me again on this um, quick one guys and I'll see you all soon.